Okay, this is a tutorial on how to replace your Sparky board. First we're going to take a screwdriver and we're going to replace three screws, one here, here, and down here. Make sure you're putting these in place where they're not going to get lost. Next we're going to take the ultrasonic cable off of Sparky, we're going to pull it off here, we're going to use a wiggling motion from side to side while we pull it off. Be careful not to use too much force or you could snap the connector off the board. Next we're going to use the same wiggling motion to take off the servo connector. Next we're going to take off Sparky's head. There's a screw right here in the center. That's what we're going to be unscrewing. We first want to make sure that Sparky's has a line straight forward and backwards. Then we're going to unscrew it. And use a wiggle motion again to pop it right off. Next we're going to be taking out these stepper motor connectors. There's three of them here, here, and here. We're going to Put your fingers on the sides and kind of wiggle it out. Uh, sometimes you can use a screwdriver to kind of wedge it in there to get the wiggling started, uh, but it shouldn't take too much force. The second to last cable here is the board connector cable for the bottom. We're going to be lifting it up and popping it out. Uh, you see these two little black tabs on the bottom, we're going to push them out. And then we're going to put the screwdriver underneath and pop it out. Underneath the ribbon cable, that is. Then we just pull out a little bit, and then we just grab our thumb and it should pop right out. If you're taking too much force, try adjusting the tabs again. Make sure this doesn't fall below, you're going to have to push it out. The board should come off fairly easily now. The only thing holding it now is the battery connector, so we're going to pop open the battery door and take out the battery case. If you're going to be tempted to tug it right out, don't do that. Instead, use the same wiggling motion you used with the other connectors at the base of the connector. If you're finding it a little tough, don't worry, just keep wiggling it and it'll come right off. And the board is now free, so we're going to put it aside. So let's go ahead and grab a new board. We're going to put it back on top. The first cable that you're probably going to fish through is the long ribbon cable to the bottom. You're going to fish it through this little hole here. And just guide it through by threading a needle. Since we're already dealing with that cable, let's go ahead and connect it. So make sure to have those black tabs out and then it should slide right in. Once it's slid in, you can press the black tabs back into it, and it should lock in place. Just uh, tuck the excess cable down the hole. Next, we'll pop in the stepper motors. We'll continue by plugging in the servo connector. Uh, now, if you're confused about which side to plug in, we're going to be plugging in so that the yellow cable that you see here is on the outside and the brown cable is on the inside. Another way to tell is that the metal strips are at the bottom of the cable. Next we'll put those three screws back into place. Next we're going to put the head back on. Make sure that the little black screw is through the white hole in the head. Then we're going to take that tip of the black screw and make sure that it's in the center hole of the servo. We're going to screw it on. Make sure that the head is straightly aligned like we took it off. This way the head will be aligned just like we had it before. Next we'll plug in Sparky's ultrasonic connector. 
Now it's very important to keep the same colors in the same orientation. So if the brown cable is closer to you, make sure you plug it in with the brown cable facing you. Same thing for the yellow cable. Make sure at the end of it that the cables aren't twisting, uh, all the colors are the same at the end. Next we'll plug in the battery connector. This will go in a lot easier than it came out. You just pop it in and then you should be able to tuck in the wires and the battery connector underneath the door and then close the door behind it. Lastly, we'll plug in the LCD. Now this has to be aligned correctly, so make sure that each pin is going into a hole. If you see any silver pin sticking out the side after you plug it in, to pick it back out again and try to realign it. And we did it! Yay!